Hello, Harv Video Audio Stuff, welcome back. Have you ever wondered what the best practices are for shooting and then uploading video to Facebook? I feel like as video becomes more and more important to social media, I thought you would appreciate my take on my process of doing this. So I'll give you my best general tips, I'll give you some pointers on filming, editing and then uploading and hopefully you'll find it helpful. Let's do it. So to my tips, firstly, always, and I mean always if you can help it, upload your video directly to Facebook. If you can help not posting links to YouTube videos, that is the best way around to do it. And the reason for this is because Facebook has algorithms that decide how big of an audience your post has, and it heavily, heavily favours an uploaded video over a linked one. Secondly, Facebook's video compression is horrible. I mean, it has improved a little bit over the last couple of years, but compared to Vimeo and YouTube, it's a very lossy compression that is basically just designed to load really fast whilst people are scrolling through their feeds. My advice is if you're shooting video specifically for Facebook and your camera has some of these fancy shooting modes with 10 bit, 12 bit, that kind of thing, really I wouldn't worry about it because Facebook will destroy your video when you upload it. Thirdly, if you are a videographer this will go against every fibre of your being but instead of shooting in the standard landscape aspect ratio or even the dreaded portrait style, the best aspect ratio to go for for Facebook is actually a square format, believe it or not. Again, this is Facebook's preference and they will prioritise square format video when it comes to putting your videos in front of people. Fourthly, assuming you'll be shooting your video to be delivered in a square format, my advice is if your camera has the ability to shoot in 4K, I really would because there will be some cropping needed and 4K will give you plenty of detail and lots of options in editing. Fifth, of course the most important things to consider are the content of the video which you'd hope would be interesting and the length of the video which for Facebook ideally you'd want to be short and snappy. Generally for this channel I upload my full videos to Facebook but if I'm making a video specifically for Facebook, I make sure it's no longer than one minute long. They also need to be engaging right from the beginning. If you don't give people a reason to stick around, then you can't expect them to. Now let's talk about how to film your Facebook video. And what better way to do it than by filming a little video within this one. So here we go. Hey, it's Harv here from Harv Video Audio Stuff. I've just made a video about the secrets of filming video for Facebook. I talk all about filming, editing and uploading, plus I've got five tips that anyone who uploads video to Facebook should know. So it's linked below, make sure you go there and I'll see you over there. See you guys. Right, let's edit it now. Here we are in Final Cut and the first thing we need to do is create a brand new project, but of course we can't use any of the presets because that won't work for our square format video. So I'm gonna choose custom and then I'm gonna go with a resolution of 1920 by 1920. In theory, you could choose any resolution you like, but I like 1920 by 1920. This is exactly the same process when you're setting up a new project in Premiere Pro. So here we are with our square format project and I've already color graded the footage and I've already optimized the audio. The first thing I'm gonna do is drag in my custom bar along the bottom, which is basically just a black rectangle with my social media details on. It's gonna sit along the bottom of the video the whole time and plus it allows me to position the video slightly higher. Next, we need to do some cropping to fill the frame and this is when I'm really happy that I've shot my video in 4K. I find it easier to zoom out so I can see the edges of the video and then I can get the position perfect. Next, I'll drop in my end sequence, which I use for every video, just so there's some continuity with my YouTube channel. However, notice I didn't include my opening sequence and that's because I want the video to start straight away when people are scrolling through their Facebook feeds. All that's left to do is to add a fade in and fade out at the start and end and that's it. We're pretty much ready to bounce it down and get it uploaded. Uploading to Facebook really is so simple and really doesn't need explaining whatsoever. There are just a couple of things that I was gonna mention, just, I, just things I wanted to highlight. Firstly, make sure you've got a snappy title. In this case, I'm gonna go for the secrets of making video for Facebook. When I'm uploading, I always set the status to save as unpublished so that I can work on it and be sure that it's definitely correct. Next, be very careful with what tags you choose. I'm gonna go with a few that I think are relevant for this video. Also bear in mind that if you're going to boost a post, 
these tags are super important as they will essentially decide who will see your video. I would always use a custom thumbnail if you can, preferably not a screen grab, which I have been guilty of doing in the past. A photo will simply look better. The custom thumbnail and the full description are things that I will sort out later because I need lots of links to the actual YouTube video, etc. And that's it. I really hope you found this helpful interesting and informative. Of course, I'll link the finished video below so you can check it out there. Plus, I'll link all the gear that I use to film it. And as always, it's been fun. So let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.